What's going on everyone? In this video, I'll be discussing how to match the SAT October and all the tips and tricks that you need to use to get over a 1500 plus. But before all of that, I would like to thank today's sponsor, Philo. Philo is the world's only live instant tutoring app that connects students to an expert tutor within 60 seconds for a live one-on-one -on -one session. This one-on-one -on -one format effectively enables you to study at your own pace with the tutor ready to help you. This changed how we self-study forever. You can ask unlimited questions to resolve any confusion or even to learn a new concept. And this would be a game changer in SAT preparation. Now, why would this be a game changer in SAT preparation, you may ask? Well, because hurdle-free practice during self-study will keep you motivated to keep on going forward and study more and more up until you can finally get that 1500 plus SAT score. One of the best parts about Philo is you can mark your favorite tutors and be taught by only them. So if you want to accelerate your tutoring today and have some happy learning, be sure to check out Philo, link in the description below. Okay, so the October SAT, literally less than a month away, you might be like, hmm, what can I do to make sure I get the best possible score? And what I think a best possible score is, is a 1500 plus. If you're getting 1500 plus on the SAT, you are in the top 99th percentile, which a lot of a lot of people you know, want to be in because if you're in that percentile, you know Harvard might actually give you a look. So to make sure you get in that percentile, let's talk about the first tip, and that is to drive the math section home for yourself. Now, I always talk about math, math, math. Guys, I'm trying to tell you, it's the easiest session on the SAT, all right? Now, obviously, I am better at math, so I might be a little biased, but objectively, looking at facts and data, the math section score is usually higher than the average student's reading section score. Why? Because math is easier. Math has tips and tricks that you can use to get the right answer. You don't have to you know, interpret what the author is saying. You don't have to use your opinion or your judgment. No, math is clear cut. If there's an answer A, B, C, or D, it's one of them, right? Is two plus two four? Yes. It's not like, hmm, well, two plus two could be four, but it also could be five based on, you know, the context clues. That's not how math works, right? Math works strictly by you plugging numbers into the variables and boom, you use math and you find a solution. So that's why the math is such an easier uh, section because the patterns that you can, you know, use and detect will help you answer the questions at lightning speed. Now, I know some of you might be struggling on the math section. You guys might be like, hmm, this is really hard. You know, I can't really detect the patterns. There's so many tips and tricks on the math section, so many topics, circles, triangles, linear equations that it just, you know, destroying my head, destroying my brain. I can't process it at all. Well, then what you can do is you can check out my SD Math six hour crash course. You can literally learn every single pattern, tip and trick for the math section within six hours. So no excuse right there. Of course, if you want to practice the math section, you can use Khan Academy. Now Khan Academy isn't you know, the number one resource for SD Math problems anymore like it used to be, but it's still a good resource to use if you you know just want to brush up on some math skills, you do some problems here and there. Maybe challenge yourself for um, certain sections like the circle problem, the, the trigonometry problems on Khan Academy are definitely significantly harder than what you will actually see on the SAT. But you know what, if, you, if, you're that, if you're that guy or girl and you wanna challenge yourself, go for it. Now my second tip, and this tip, um, if someone told me this when I was studying for the SAT, I would probably just stop studying. I would literally hate it, but it's a tip that it's necessary. And that's to read, read, read. And when you think you're done, read some more. Yes, guys, SAT reading is your weak point. If you're watching this video, chances are you suck at the reading section, your math score is higher. You might suck at both. Or you might be really good at reading and you suck at math. That's a very low, probably like 5% of test takers are like that. You know, like I said, mainly math is an easier one, reading is a harder one. So to make sure you get a higher reading score, there's not no other solution but to read. Like you literally have to read as much as you can. Because by reading books, articles, um stories paying attention english class even which is so hard to do you are basically driving up your comprehension skills okay you are improving your comprehension skills you are being able to comprehend text better you're exposing yourself to complex sentences if you're reading like not a children's book but reading actual scholarly articles you're exposing yourself to high level writing and with high level writing if you're able to understand that then when you read low level writing which is basic kind of the SAT is such medium level. It's a, it's a walk in the park. It's super, you know, easy for you to understand. You're able to uh, understand what's going on, the story. You're able to answer questions based on context clues. This is only going to happen if you are, if you have good comprehension skills. And the best way to do, to do that is to read because if you're not reading, your skills just won't improve. It's like if you're playing a sport, right? If you're wanting to go to the NBA, and you're not shooting every single day, there's no way you make it to the NBA. Right? You're not just wake up and make it to the NBA. Same with reading. You're not gonna be improving your comprehension skills if you're not reading literally almost every single day. And with that being said, you know, you can always 
you know, use Khan Academy. Khan Academy has great SAT reading passages for uh, history, argumentative, narrative. There's a bunch of passages that you can use to like literally expose yourself to SAT writing, right? Like you can see how the um, how the language of the SAT is, how the passages are worded, because there's a similar structure to these passages. They almost kind of all sound the same based on the topic, whether it be science or history. If you just read enough, you start seeing that, yeah, they're all like structured the same. They always talk about some, at least the science passages always link back to some beginning details at the end, right? They always loop back in some sort of way. These are the patterns you detect when you, um, you know, really read the ST reading uh, passages that Khan Academy offers or you read in general. When you have those comprehension skills, stuff like this starts, you know, shooting out to you and you're able to understand these things. And that's when you're, you're, you're golden. You're able to answer almost every single question you are faced with on the ST reading section. Now, obviously it's a hard section, so you might get miss some questions here and there. But if you're getting less than five questions wrong on the reading section, you're looking at like a 770 plus. So if you're able to do that, getting a 1500 plus is such an easy thing for you to do because that's the hard part right there, getting a 700 plus on the reading section. And now my final tip, this is practice test galore, okay? Now with this, I'll also take the practice exam that College Board has, you know, that has 10, those 10 exams you see on the College Board website that you can use, you know, these are SD exams, one to 10, super old, maybe outdated, but a lot of the patterns are the same, a lot of the problems, like structure is the same. So I really wanna say outdated, but there are certain websites, I don't know if I'm able to say it in the video or you just have to find it on your own, but they exist and they're not that hard to find that have recent SAT exams on there. Like, like from last year, or maybe a couple of months ago, like they had those exams or the problems on the website. So you can literally see the most recent problems on the SAT, the most like newly formed problems. And by being able to see the most recent problems, you can really like pretend you just took that SAT that was administered months ago and see how you would have done. And that's a great way to gauge where you are at on your SAT journey, right? With what, what score you're gonna get. Cause if you're not able to score a 1500 plus on even one practice exam, then, you know, like the chances of you getting a 1500 on SAT are gonna be kind of slim, right? But if you're able to get maybe like a 1480, 1490, 1470, then you could possibly get a 1500 plus because it's like, you know, a couple of points, you know, a curve, etc. So, but if you're getting like a 1200, you know, there's no way you're getting 1500. And so if you want the 1500 plus, or you want even a 1400 plus, or whatever your goal score is, you want to, you take these practice tests to make sure you're improving. At the end of the day, you want to make sure you're improving. So that way, the worst thing is, you take the SAT and your score drops, right? Cause no one wants that. So the best thing to do is to make sure you keep improving by taking practice test after practice test after practice test. I recommend taking like two a week. If you're that person, maybe three a week, but three a week might get a little too excessive. So I'll say two a week, one on the weekends, one on like a Wednesday maybe. Um, do that and you're gonna see yourself improve. You're gonna see that everything is paying off very well. And then you're probably gonna get a high score on the SAT October exam and you're gonna get to the college of your dreams and you'll be super happy and super rich. So if you guys enjoyed this video, check out Philo, check out my course, check out everything else I mentioned, any all further details like my mailing list for the you know, most recent updates about my channel, exclusive discounts, all of that are in my description. So check out the description, bunch of information there. Thank you for watching, peace.